welcome back to the paddock contractor. Uh, new video today, it's spring, uh, it's early April and it's finally stopped raining so we're out doing a bit of topping. Um, this field hasn't been topped for maybe 14 months uh, and we're out trying the new major cyclone uh, that we purchased earlier this year. First time we've had opportunity to, to give it a go. And it's on my massive Ferguson 5711 uh, 2018 plate and it's 110 horsepower and it seems to absolutely love it. It's not even batting an eyelid running this flail. Well it's not a flail. Why do I call it a flail? It's a rotary topper. Now I've run maybe two or three different flails in the time I've been doing this uh, paddock contracting work and they do an absolutely fantastic job. I still have a 2.4 meter flail but uh, major brought out a cyclone a few years ago and they claim it does the same sort of job as a flail uh, i.e. mulching it up um, leave a nice even spread and be able to cut through some pretty thick material as you can see it's uh, doing a lovely job here of, of topping this uh, paddock and uh, yeah, it probably uses about 25% less fuel because it's not got as much weight or inertia to, to run so it's a lot more economical to run on the tractor and uh, therefore saves you money on the fuel. The other benefit of that is you can have a lot faster forward speed than the flail. I mean if I was using my two and a half, well 2.4 meter flail mirror in this field I'd probably be doing what, uh, I don't know, three miles per hour whereas I'm doing nearly six with this which is about 10k in uh, new money. So yeah, it's, it's a lot more efficient to use and a lot uh, more cost savings. So you know, Red Diesel's about, well the last one I paid was about 75, 76 p a litre. Um, so, you know, 25% less uh, fuel used on the same job. That's a fair old cost saving. So yeah, so far I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, seems to be mulching the grass up quite well. Maybe not quite so fine as a flail would, but that's one of the downsides, I suppose. Um, but the actual cut is a bit cleaner than the flail. Uh, yeah, rotary toppers do have a cleaner cut. And uh, yeah, it, it just spreads it out all nice and evenly. So, here we compare the uh, cut uh, material to the uncut material. It's a pretty nice tidy job. So I'm doing this field in, uh, in blocks. There's uh, our friend George from Mating Paddock Care in Oxfordshire. He's come up to uh, have a look at the cyclone and try it out. He's doing a bit of filming for us. Say hello George. There he is. Um, yeah, the sky's gone a bit black so hopefully it doesn't rain on us. But uh, yeah, hopefully George has got some nice shots for us. And uh, yeah, no, no drone footage this time, unfortunately, but maybe we'll get that next time for you. So there she is. That's the major cyclone, MJ31-250. As you can imagine in the name, it's a two and a half metre machine. Um, full galvanised frame and skids. So the actual deck of the machine is made of strengths, which is a, a, a structural steel and it's been galvanised so it'll last forever. The only bit that isn't galvanised is obviously the uh, painted uh, gearbox cover. Uh, Major's lovely sort of John Deere green, which looks great on a red Massey Ferguson. Maybe not. Um, so yeah, you can have this machine in, well it comes standard with a thousand speed gearbox. I opted for the extra of a 540 gearbox so I can run it uh, a bit more economically on this size of tractor. Um, you can also have it so it's mounted on the front of your tractor, on your front linkage. So that headstock, well I think it might be a different headstock, goes on these brackets here so you can then push it and obviously you won't be uh, leaving wheelings in front of your mower. Uh, whereas in this configuration the wheels do flatten the, uh, the grass down a little bit before it mows it. But you can really tell in this shot but uh, yes um, 
what else can we say about it? It has a roll on the back, more like a flail mower or a finishing mower perhaps, um, which is adjustable. The skids are adjustable. And then under here, you can see the design of the blades. So we have four sets of two blades, so eight blades. And above those, you have mulching blades. So that gives a bit of an updraft and also chops the grass a lot finer than a rotary topper would. Uh, you'll also notice these blades are really strong. I think they're made of hardox, I believe. I'd have to check on that. But uh, yeah, you can cut some really heavy material with this uh, setup. And each uh, set of blades has their gearbox, which is under this cover. Now, there's no blades, no, sorry, belts to worry about on this machine, so it's fully shaft driven. It has couplings that you have to grease periodically. And also underneath these covers here, a standard sort of gearbox top and point. And in the tool kit, it comes with a dipstick, so you can dip it in there and check the oil's at the correct level, which is really nice. Um, comes with a spare set of shear bolts in there as well, along with your tool kit. And obviously the owner operator manual, which is sort of call stuff in there. I want to set this machine up on the tractor so it's actually tilted slightly up at the front. And that gives a better launch. You still want these chains slack, so all the weight is on the roll in the back. And the, link, the uh, linkage of the tractor is just holding the front up a little bit. Um, so that just gives it a bit better cut according to Major. And I, from sort of a bit of testing here, it just seems to do that. I did have to cut the PTO shaft down by about six, seven inches because it comes way too long. So yeah, there's a bit of chopping to do there. And uh, yeah, overall very happy with it and uh, hoping to, to get a lot of work out of it. So there we are. Thanks for watching the paddock contractor. If you want to see some more videos like this, sort of reviews and videos where I'm doing a bit of work on paddocks and fields and stuff, then, uh, like and subscribe there's all that sort of stuff to do when you're on youtube but it will help so yeah um press a little button maybe they ring the little bell i don't know who cares about that so uh, yeah cheers